I just want to raise from a really wide angle lens some ways of thinking about care and art and then really open it up. I by no means think that these are exhaustive and I'm sure many of you will, will, will look to add to these lists or to poke holes at the sort of taxonomy. But I think there's some value in a large project which does have folks who work in so many places and so many media with so many histories of production and histories of aesthetics to try to um, map out where we're coming from and see where there's both overlap and where there's room for, for adding to, to the kind of the theoretical vocabulary and practices that, that we employ. I'll take us first through the hoops of how we define care. In the most general sense, care is a species activity that includes everything we do to maintain, continue, and repair our world so that we may live in it as well as possible. The world includes our bodies, ourselves, and our environment, all of which we seek to interweave in a complex, life-sustaining web. This is a quote from John Tronto and Bernice Fisher. So one thing that I find is sometimes confusing in discussions of care, and particularly discussions of care in the context of art production, is what is the relationship or relationships one is talking about, right? And I think there are a number of vectors of care you might articulate. Uh, here's another take by Dave Graeber. If you think about it, is that not what life is basically about? Human beings are projects of mutual creation. Most of the work we do is on each other. The working classes just do a disproportionate share. They are the caring classes, and always have been. Throughout our lives, we depend on the support of our families, friends, strangers, and institutions to sustain ourselves, and to sustain the world in which we and the future generations have to live. That interdependency of humans and non-human nature in social and ecological reproduction defines the relations of care and the effort to sustain those relations defines the labor of care. Perhaps uh, on the topic of care, uh, what is more important is that it, it sacrifices our present well-being. These, these stakes sacrifices our present well-being for a promise of the future that may or may not materialize. But a big thrust of the work that I am interested in is to extend the collective sense-making practice beyond methods and body understanding to include broader socio-technical challenges. So there's a distinct question is how can the art outputs of collectives not only be created with care in mind, but somehow model care and perhaps new modalities of care. Is, uh, it's, a, it's a kind of motivation to care for people who might be in a different, who might have different needs, different conditions. Uh, it motivates us to use our resourcefulness to like really think about how we can create shared well-being.
do we care for the cultural sector, for cultural collectives? Because actually it's really hard to care for others when we are, we, we, we are in this framework of these very short-term projects when you, when you put this into the context of other people's lives. When we look at our experience with data, it is isolating. It is not really something we talk about unless something has gone terribly wrong, in which case there's a degree of profound doubt um, or uncertainty. And so in that sense, the purpose of all this is to create language and to provide um, to, like discursive tools for, that people can draw on that aren't rooted in, oh, everything is wrong, everything is broken, I don't know what happened, I need, uh, like, I need help to understand this, but rather as also a, cre a creative practice and a practice of collective curiosity. What principles or guidelines could be created for a toolkit of care? That's the goal of this project. We literally have conceived of the toolkit as a thing, right? You know, as a thing that will exist that folks could make use of and ask how it might be employable in their own practices. What?